Hello everyone and thank you for joining me Joe Onwin also known as Flojo on another PowerFX video. Today we're going to be looking at the now function in PowerFX. I'm going to be using Power Apps to show you how to do this but obviously wherever you're using PowerFX that you can use the same method anywhere. So how does this function work and what does it do? Well if you've ever used the today function before the today function gets the date of the current user's location and delivers it to them. But what it does do is it just delivers it with midnight. It has 12 000. So it's not very good for timing. But now gets the date and the time of the user's location. So, for example, what I've got on here is I've got the function section and I've got the output section. The function section just shows you what you're going to type. All you do is you type now with a capital N and open the parentheses and close the parentheses. What that's going to do then is it's going to deliver the date and time that it currently is. So in this instance, it's the 9th of October 2023 at 7.22 p.m. And this is great for getting the exact time and location for the user. You may want to, for example, uh, imprint your date and time on something with data that you're moving around. You may want to do it when you're delivering an adaptive card. You may want to simply pass that data, the now data, to um, a location, let's say, in Dataverse. Or you may want to manipulate data, um, the date, so you want to add an hour onto this time, so, so you can say, okay, the schedule is for 8 p.m., 8.22 p.m. rather than now, so you can add time to now but you may need to know what exactly the date and time is. Now, this is why you would use this function. So how do you use it? Well, you simply type now. If I click onto here, you can see what I've done is type now, and this is how the information comes back to you. Now, as you can see, this now says 8.20 p.m. because when I set this up an hour ago, it's highlighted it, but it's not updated it doesn't automatically update unless you refresh it. So if I open this in the preview, nothing's gonna happen, right? But if I come on here and I change this to say, Joe uh, as text, and then I type now again, you can see it gets updated. If you don't think about this, you're going to be stuck with the time that it was set at. So, how you can do that is you can have a button to update it. You can have and set it as a variable, for example. And what you can do is you can essentially go, uh, let's add a button. And you can simply have this button over here. And what we'll do is we'll say um, set. And we'll say what the variable name is. Let's say now date. And then we'll change that to now. And what will happen then is this button, uh, we'll just call this now, um, this button will now set the date uh, and time to this variable and then show it here. But we need to set the variable, right? So what's happened then is, as you can see, there's no date and time in this output. If I click on this button, you can see it's 8.22 p.m. But while we're talking, the time is continuously going on, but the actual now is not updating. You have to force this update. So let's say um, we're just going to have a look at this. We're talking and the time's transitioning. And then we want to now check the now time. Now, obviously, it's still going to be uh, 8.22 and you can see it's 57 seconds but now if I come back off of this and I click on it again now is 8.23 but it still shows 8.22 here so if you're using this in say a patch function where you're passing it through straight away that's great but if it's sitting on your screen like if you're using it in a power app for example you may need to consider how you're going to update this so if I click on this button again, you can see now has changed to 823, but it didn't update man it, it didn't update automatically. You have to update it manually. 
But that is the now function on PowerFX. Um, I hope to see you on our next video. And if you like anything, if you have any comments or anything like that, just hit the like button and comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you next time.